Perfect. That works fine. <laughs> the live stream. <laughs> you got the live stream there. Hey guys, welcome to Rank You Very Much. Oh, that's uh, not a good start. That's not a good start. Welcome to Rank You Very Much, everybody. <laughs> I'm your host, Joe Bates. Uh, we've got a great show today. We're talking about the worst successful gimmick in wrestling. Uh, I'm excited. This is episode 53 or 54. I don't keep track. Probably 37. Uh, we have two special guest experts, folks, on the show. Uh, to the left of me, uh, as always, <laughs> it's just actually <laughs> just this one time. But you can imagine if he was always here. If you've never watched the show before, you could just assume that he is always there. Uh, he's, a, he's an expert, uh, folks, uh, in this, in this uh, field. We always have two special guest experts. He's an expert. He's written the Bible of Hulkamania, Mr. Uh, Patrick Passively. <laughs> yes. Hi. Yeah. Did, I, did I say that incorrectly? A little bit. That's okay. Oh, wait, how do you say your name? It's a Passifume, brother. Passifume. I always, I, I like that F as like a Q, you know, yeah. like a, 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 just a flamer. <laughs> flamer. <laughs> well, no, I don't know. It's fine. That's the are. word. That's the uh, best gimmick. This yeah. Is, yeah, this is my home. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's my, that's my fireplace. It's backwards. They can't read it. Uh, pass a, pass a, pass a, not going to work here anymore. And, uh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, so you're, you wrote the, uh, what is the Bible of Hulkamania? It just runs through the entire career and life of Hulk Hogan. Wow. And his kids and the TV show, the wrestling, of course, the what haircuts, a, the bandanas. Thunder in Paradise? Thunder in Paradise. That's all I care about. Spaghetti Maker. <laughs> <laughs> it's Spaghetti Maker. Uh, you know what the best thing about podcasts is the empty space. I, uh... <laughs> There's a lot of, you know, but it's good. We all seem like we're just real good friends. Uh, and to the right of me, uh, not as always, uh, this one episode, he might be on more. Who knows what's going to happen? We could really hit it off. Folks, uh, he is an expert. Uh, he used to write uh, WWE uh, fan fiction, yeah. uh, Mr. Sean Smith. Sean, that's, a fan fiction. That's, your, that's your fan fiction? That's your sign-off or fan fiction? Wait, did you, like... You gotta throw it a little bit. Oh, you gotta, I, oh it's you're, all the risks. Like so, boomerang. You're boomerang and I'm bringing it back. Oh well, that's good. It's coming back. There it is. And um, <laughs> Sean, as someone who writes fan fiction, do, do you? Is there a specific genre? Do you like writing the WWE? Oh. It, I, I guess what I'm trying to ask is it erotic? Sometimes. Sometimes. Okay. Uh, if it calls for it. If it calls for it. I mean, Gold Dust was just <laughs> littered with erotic. <laughs> It was a good. That was a good season for me. So. <laughs> That's a good. So you're writing seasons. <laughs> seasons. So, okay. So not like chapters or like anthologies. I you to, call your your writing seasons. seasons. Yes, and okay. I try to match them with the WWE season so that it's like <laughs> it always culminates with the the holiday show for the troops. Oh, There's okay. So yeah. much hijinks that can happen. <laughs> Let me tell you. It's a, it's a crazy time. And as you know, Rank, you very much always uh, supports the troops. If there, if there weren't any troops, I had nothing to support. You know what I mean? So, Anyways. Yeah, you can support nothing else but the troops. Fun fact about his fan fiction, it was actually the very first time in fan fiction history where it was an interracial relationship between Goldust and Ahmed Johnson. That's right. Wait, I got a question, though. Ahmed Johnson never had the title, right? Because that is one thing WWE won't stand for. Absolutely. <laughs> no. No, no, no. He was actually supposed to get a title run, but he messed his knee up. Yeah. yeah. Who was the guy? Bobby Lashley. That yeah. they liked yeah. a lot. Then he went he did have a heavyweight belt, I believe. Uh, I think he had like an ECW belt or something. Yeah, yeah. He had a championship belt. Yeah. Well, good for him. Yeah. yeah. Bobby Lashley, if you're paying attention, keep being you, man. He shout out to you, Bobby Lashley. <laughs> what am I, taking a hat off? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Hats off to Bobby Lashley. Now, rats off to you. Uh, that live stream upstairs is upstairs. Anyways, uh, we're going to... We're strictly the loud upstairs. <laughs> your kid's watching it. Your kid, she loved the Latin, but this. There we go. Look, we're all, we're all doing it. We've got this uh, rolling on the baby monitor. <laughs> okay, well, we're done with the worst successful gimmick in wrestling. Right uh, right thank right you so much. I appreciate it, audience. Uh, <laughs> here's a list that we'll talk about. It's a, it's a list of 14. Kane, American Badass Taker, uh, hey, YouTube Live work. My brother just commented. That's good. Uh, okay, let's start again. Kane, America, Badass Taker, Undertaker. Those are two separate characters, two separate gimmicks. Doink, which I feel like we do need to call out. Uh, Finley, IRS, Gold Dust, Mexicools, 
Crime Time, Akeem, Eugene, Hornswoggle, Honky Tonk Man, and Papa Shango. Uh, all uh, really bad ideas that for absolutely no reason no. took off. Every wrestler here was successful under these names, yeah. uh, had an audience following. Some even had the longest Intercontinental Championship reign of all time for absolutely, again, no reason. Rhyme or reason. Uh, so we're going to go down. We always start off with the veto round, folks. We go down one at a time, each one of us, and take one of these off the list that we don't think is the worst successful gimmick in wrestling. This is a mouthful to say. Uh, we start with the youngest person here, Patrick. Pass a few. All right. Uh, worst successful gimmick. <laughs> yeah, that's the whole thing. <laughs> the entire show is about this one I'm, thing. I'm just learning. I'm trying to put those words together and figure out what they mean. Oh, okay. man. Because I, I don't know how no successful. I'm going to go Akeem. How, how, success, Akeem. Which, how successful is Akeem? You're going to get rid of Akeem? Akeem is one of the worst things ever. It was yeah, but it wasn't successful. But it wasn't successful. Did well, he have I, a belt? I, is that what you're measuring it by? I don't, yeah, I guess that's a good idea. Is to me, everyone knows a king. It was like, I guess, how long was he a king for? Uh, I would say it was probably upward. It was close to seven, six, seven years. That's like, the, a, that's successful. To me, right, that, to me right. that's successful. If you're still doing the gimmick and you haven't been like okay, because like shock, it. like Shockmaster, right? Yeah, just for a second. Right. <laughs> yeah. Everyone knows Shockmaster. <laughs> Then, all right, then you're okay. changing it. Uh, well, I think maybe one of the worst. Uh, I'm, uh, man, it's, for me, it's tough. It's either they're all bad. I think I'm we all I'm going hornswoggle. Hornswoggle, because he's a midget. What else is he gonna do, right? Yeah, be a leprechaun. Yeah, I mean, it's a horrible yeah. gimmick, but the audience always will love midgets. I don't think it doesn't <laughs> matter what the gimmick the midget was. No, Dink no. was a great. Ninja. Doink and Dink. Yeah. <laughs> Dink, was, Dink was solid. Dink was solid. The best, the best, El Torito was the best midget there. Oh, yeah. That guy was taking crazy bumps. Oh, yeah. 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 yeah that he guy was, was doing awesome. crazy jumps and everything. Well, One, he is a bull. Yes. Yeah. One time, uh, I when I did an audio version of this podcast, I had a guy, uh, Antonio the Promise Thomas. He was part of half of the Heartbreakers. Okay. He only wrestled, I think, WWE for a year. And uh, he has two matches. One is versus Viscera. Ooh. And then the other one is his tag team, and he's versus Viscera and Hornswoggle. <laughs> he loses both of them. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, Viscera, man, that guy, he's a fat, he's a fat dude. He's I think he's probably, dead. Big yeah, yeah, he died. He died. His heart. But did. King Mabel lives on. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> and Vader's still alive too, right? Yeah, yeah but he's like fair. on death's doorstep yeah. apparently, which is real sad. I, I used to like Vader a lot. So. Yeah. I, but when I, it's Vader's time, it's Vader's time. Yeah. <laughs> I was getting ready to say. It. I like his son, Darth. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, okay, we keep going down the list. That's what we do. We're having fun. We're all grown-ups. Uh, Sean, you're up next. Uh, what are you taking off the list here? I, I, don't, I don't understand why Finley is on the list. Because uh, Finley's gimmick was he loves the fight. Yeah, Nobody I'm else. an Irishman. <laughs> I'm not good at accents, but he loves to fight. Right, but of of all of the yeah, of all <laughs> ridiculous. Of them, there's so many ridiculous ones. Finley was just a wrestler who just proclaimed that he loved to fight. He loved fighting. There's so, one thing he yeah, loved. But Sean, do you understand how much he loved to fight? Every other wrestler <laughs> likes to fight. Yeah, he very loves. <laughs> That would be great if it just a whole. It ended up Finley was just really in the bondage, like masochism. Like, Wait a second, not that kind. Not Eros love. That's not. We weren't talking about Eros love. His finisher's called the safe word. <laughs> we're talking about the Philadelphia type, you know. For so Finley, yeah, that's fine. All these other ones are so bad. Yeah, they're. they're that it's, it's tough. I'm, I'm gonna take Finley off the list. Bye bye, Finley. He's fit. He's going to fight you now. Yeah. He's fit. And yeah, there was Finley, and then there was Fit Finley. <laughs> like, wait, why were you wrestling in the first place if you weren't already fit? It was Finley, then he went on a Weight Watchers plan and came back, and he was Fit Finley. Yeah. So just so you know, so far we've taken the two Irishmen off the list. It's really... Oh, we are anti-Irish on this podcast. I don't know. I think we're pro-Irish. We don't think it's that bad a gimmick. Yeah, we think... Oh, it's much we, we don't think they were successful. Yeah, wow, well, potatoes. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, your horns all go small potatoes. Anyway, it doesn't matter. 
uh, what I say. <laughs> uh, I, I'm going to go on the... I'm going to do this early because, again, I don't understand any of... How, how all these are bad. But I'm going to take... Racist. Steve Giles says racist. So yes, yeah, Steve, but we're pro Irish, so yeah. that's a good yeah. kind of racist. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I like Steve has not paid attention to a podcast. He doesn't know wrestling, and he yeah. comes in right when there's time about Irishman. He's just like, but he hit it. I'm Irish. Wait till he gets to the Mexicals. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm up next. Uh, for me, I'm going to take one off, and I think what uh, an aspect of it why people didn't like was because of the original persona. But I think by itself is fine. I'm taking off American Badass Taker. Okay. Because I think if it never was The Undertaker to begin with, no. it would just be a, a, a tough guy with a motorcycle. Right. Everyone yeah. would have liked it, drives out on a motorcycle. It was just weird that he was a zombie. Yeah. You now yeah. watch Sons of Anarchy. He right. was, uh, it was like Crush before, like after Crush did his whole, like, I'm going to be a biker guy. Yeah. Pretty much. Also, I don't know if you know this, the Ranky Very Much's favorite band is Limp Bizkit. Is that right? Ooh. Yeah, that's Ranky Very Much's favorite band. Uh, we do it. We do it for uh, what's that? that go? <laughs> yeah, yeah that, that's our favorite band. Uh, <laughs> Fun fact: I was there at the debut of American Badass Day. Really? It happened in Louisville. I didn't know. That. It's Louisville. In Louis Louisville. <laughs> Patrick yeah. Passapweem. It is Louisville. <laughs> it happened here during the uh, Rock. Triple H Iron Man match where Shawn Michaels was the guest referee. And he just shows up on yeah. a motorcycle. Did well, they, they, did they the McMahons came out and the DX or somebody came out. Or no, yeah. And then they were all fighting and then Undertaker pops out on the motorcycle. And everyone was the rolling, rolling, rolling song? No, I don't remember what song. It wasn't rolling, though. Were there any promos that coming out that he was no. going to come out as no. a biker character? Nope, it just, just happened. So my understanding is Undertaker was just tired of being the Undertaker. He, like, yeah, he hated done it for like... <laughs> Eleven years at that point. He needed a pivot. Yeah. Well, he also just got done doing like the corporate ministry, which is my favorite part. Yes. Of wrestling. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It was me. It was me all the time. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Vince, you crazy. Corporate dude. ministry is a lot of fun. Uh, they, they crucified Stephanie. Yeah. <laughs> crucified Stephanie. But not in a harmful way. They just kind of no, hung just her just up. A, just, a, just, a, yeah, fun, just a fun crucify. You know, just a little fun crucifixion. You, you can't spell crucifixion without fun. Uh... <laughs> I don't know. I don't do a lot of things. Uh, <laughs> Thundertaker. No. Okay. So that's the guys. Uh, <laughs> you already hung Big Boss Man. Yeah. <laughs> In the worst Hell in Cell match of all time. <laughs> yeah, it was miserable. Uh, I don't know. It was a what was it? There's a recent Hell in a Cell match that was pretty bad. Yeah, but Big Boss Man uh, didn't get hung. Dean Ambrose and. Jericho? Yeah, that was. Yeah. Oh no, that was good because Jericho got put in the tax. We had yeah, that was a while. Yeah. It was bad before. They were like, there was a pot. Oh, bad. There was no, no, bad. that was the the like asylum of something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hell yeah, 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 yeah. was good, but that one was terrible. Yeah. <laughs> Insane. The Girl, big boss man dragged the uh, Big Show's dead dad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It made made Al Snow eat his chihuahua. We did an episode. <laughs> we did an episode of the worst WWE storyline. That was definitely the top five. <laughs> yeah. I think that might have actually won. Was him it's dragging his dad? So bad. And then he, Big Show jumps on the yeah. cat. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my dad. Yeah, he let it go, Big Show. Get over it. At some point, you have to let him go. I think. I don't know much about Dead Dad. My dad's always alive. And, uh, <laughs> you guys have Dead Dads. I'm sorry. That's on you. Yeah. That's not on me. It's <laughs> on you. We'll come drag him. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> but then we better be dragged his live dad out of... Oh, yeah. <laughs> dead Dad. Then he jumps or, on him. Then he rips his arm resuscitates off. Resuscitates his dead dad. Then kills him again. Oh, yeah. my God. That's a real F. In my fan fiction, I'd cover that whole thing. <laughs> check, check me out, guys. Check me out. <laughs> I, love, I love that. I, I think the other one was when they gave birth to a hand. Yeah. yeah. That made no sense. No. Yeah. And then Man. the hand came back like 20 years later. It's an adult hand. Did you see that? Yeah. No, I didn't. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. There was the gobbledygooker. I, I thought should have gone on the list, but I don't think he was successful. No. Successful in the early 90s. Because that's, that's why I said Glacier, because Glacier was not successful. 
But Glacier so was horrible. I do remember when Glacier made his well, debut. I was like, this is the coolest too. shit well, I've what ever was, seen. I don't, I mean, if you help me remind me, what was Glacier? Glacier he was Sub Zero for Mortal, Mortal Kombat. Literally. <laughs> they, they changed. <laughs> it was snow. It was snowing <laughs> inside. <laughs> the yeah. And he would come out. It was like a 10 minute intro yep. to a squash match. And it was, it was horrible. It was one of the <laughs> worst. <laughs> they had they had a Mortal Kombat character as a wrestler. Was this WWE? No, it's WCW. 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 Oh, that makes more sense. Those guys were throwing money at it. Oh, yeah. and it was so bad. Like initially, I remember he debuted. I was so I was like, oh my god, this is the greatest yeah. gimmick of all time. And then he wrestled, and like it fizzled out immediately. Yeah. Was, was he not like, a good wrestler? He was decent, but it's just, just not good. Well, yeah, yeah, what are you gonna do? You're not. Unless he shot ice, that would have been, been, awesome. been awesome. <laughs> get him! Get over here! <laughs> you gotta That's watch my other guy. If you haven't watched it, you gotta watch Glacier because he is horrible. The intro was really good. Oh my god. The intro <laughs> was, it was like uh, he was in like a laser tag arena. Yeah. And they were playing snow. like da 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 Snow was falling down. <laughs> Wait, like, they, they would think this is no, no, clearly. No, they didn't. Oh, was Mortal no, Kombat. This is it's similar. Glacier. Yeah, it was like <laughs> Mortal <laughs> Enemies. Mortal <laughs> Wrestling. <laughs> It was, yeah. yeah. Immor Immortal Kombat is not as fun. Nah, no, no. No one ever wins. No. It's just a long... Just keep going. <laughs> uh, I'll get over there later. Um, well, that's the podcast. And, uh, no, no, no. We can't. <laughs> no, uh, okay. We're down to a final 11 now. We have Kane, Undertaker, Doink, IRS, Goldust, Mexicools, Crime Time, Akeem, Eugene, Honky Tonk Man, and Papa Shango. We're going to do another round of veto, folks, because we love it so much. Uh, starting with the oldest person here, uh, Mr. Patrick Passafwine. Oh, man. Fuwa. This is even, this is, it's getting tough Fuwa. now. Fuwa. Successful. You know what? We're successful. I'm going to, because I don't remember them at all. I'm going Mexicals. Wow. Be on the wall! Yes. He came just... out in a lawnmower. Did they really? Yeah. <laughs> See, nope, gotta go. I don't even know it. <laughs> it's gotta go. I guess this, it can't be that successful. It's not, you're not passing the criteria of successful because you don't remember them at all, but they were super racist. They were during Even the more faction. reason to get rid of them. It was during the faction. Yeah. Was, Eddie, Eddie was in that, right? I don't think he was. Was that was. After I Eddie? hope not. No, I want to say it wasn't after Eddie, but I don't think he was in it. I want to say it was like... Um, I don't even think Mysterio was in it. I want to say it was like uh, Super Crazy and uh, uh, Psychosis. Psychosis? And, like, I forgot about those. Psychosis. Oh, and I like those wrestlers. Oh, the wrestlers were great. Like, yeah. Psychosis was awesome. Yeah. Psychosis. At least in WCW. In the cruiserweight. But they, were, they came in on John Deere's and they had the hats and everything. They had the, the, only the top button. Yep. You know what? I vaguely remember this, but it might have been a time when I wasn't as involved in, in watching wrestling. But right. just so you know, Patrick uh, Passif, whatever, uh, he he believes that it's not racist at all. The Mexico's thing. That's so <laughs> that's out there now. That's live on YouTube. So is my phone number and my security <laughs> yeah, number. Really, and his fireplace is right near Santa. Uh, <laughs> I drove past Santa Claus in the end to get here, and uh, it sucked. Yeah, uh, yeah, it does. I ate it at Wendy's. Uh, <laughs> does anyone else want to know that? Uh, I tried to get a spicy chicken. I tried to get a spicy chicken sandwich. Like one of my favorites, actually, the winner of best fast food item. Oh. Yeah, uh, they the, don't have it anymore. Do they don't rank very much. No, they do have it. They have, it's, a, it's a very popular item. Uh, well, so they got rid of their spicy Caesars, I think. Oh, no uh, yeah, problem. So I got the spicy chicken, and I go out. I pay for it, and I go to the next window, and the guy comes out, fat guy, and he goes, <laughs> he goes, ah. Uh, it's going to take like five minutes for the spicy chicken. Mm. Who go, has that kind of time? He goes, you want the home style chicken? Which is a lie. It's not home style at no. all. And I go, sure, I'll take it. Because I don't want to be late. And <laughs> <laughs> Sean showed up a minute while the podcast goes up. Uh, are we ignoring the shark? If this guy doesn't remember the entrance music, is he really an expert? Experts that don't know the members of the Mexicools, I bet you know the Irish cool members. Well, Dan's really going out of there. He's really into the Irish. <laughs> no, I, I, just, I forgot that the YouTube live people are watching on that. That's an oxymoron, isn't it? Irish cool? Oh, yeah, because they're hairy. 
Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, you know, my family, my mom's maiden name was O'Connell. Did you know that? No. Yeah, yeah, I got a lot of Irish in me. Congratulations. Well, you know, it took a lot of practice. Anyways, uh, we're going on. You're taking off Mexico's. You yep. took off easily. I stand by it. All right. Next up, Sean, which one are you saying is not the worst successful gimmick? Okay, and I'm going to get some heat for this, but I'm Papa Shango made sense to me. I mean, if you're going to be as... It just makes sense that someone who would do voodoo would be a scary bad guy. <laughs> like, that makes sense. A scary voodoo bad guy makes sense to me. I guess. Yeah. I guess that's true. Which is which was actually worse? Because we didn't like is Boogeyman worse than Papa Shango? I, I, I think so. Yeah. Um, well, Papa Shango worms. Ultimate Warrior throw up <laughs> green shit. Huh? Didn't he make Ultimate Warrior throw up a bunch of green yeah, shit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ultimate Warrior grew up green shit. Yeah, and it was real bad. He started sweating, sweating weird blood. Yeah. Thing. Wait, how do they do this on. <laughs> this is a time where they didn't have those kind of. Like, no, I, I don't uh, know how they. But he violently threw up like. Because, <laughs> <laughs> you know, Ultimate he was Warrior didn't do anything. He's like, where did that come from? He's like, parts unknown. <laughs> and, uh. <laughs> also, Papa Shango's not even the worst uh, gimmick this guy did. No, he did it. That one was way worse. I, <laughs> to me, Papa Shango made a lot of sense. In the time, everybody was doing this yeah. kind of character. And, and of the characters, like, th that one fit. It just fits. Okay. Like, I think Papa Shango he gave that's someone voodoo. to actually be afraid of. <laughs> Came back with a whole train. That's right. Oh. Which, oddly enough, if you guys don't know, him and D'Lo Brown now uh, work in a strip club in Vegas. I have a lot of people, my, a lot really? of my friends, when they go to Vegas, they go to hit strip club. Are they, are they just own it? D'Lo's the bouncer and Papa, Sh I mean, and, <laughs> and Papa, Sh Papa Shango <laughs> is the, the runner of the hose. Yeah. <laughs> Quite literally. Yep. It's, it's, honestly, that's what it is now. Man, you gotta lean in. Yeah, and D-Lo's the bouncer, and then like when people come in, he's like, you can't come in like that. <laughs> <laughs> he wears a bulletproof vest and yeah. just power bombs draws yeah. a lot. Well, I thought the good father would have stuck, and <laughs> but apparently <laughs> not. Nope. Right, the censor. Uh, they, you know, there's a big article about the right, the censor, mm -hmm. uh, being the reason George W. Bush won. Because WWE yeah, started doing that stuff because all the FCC was attacking them for everything, so they made this right, the censor group. So, like, during the election night, I think uh, Jerry Lawler said, I hope George Bush wins. And then he goes, but that's not WWE's thing. But, like, they, like, oh. kept mentioning that stuff about, yeah. like, Republicans during the, the night before the election. It is interesting. Uh, but thanks, Right to Censor. Thanks. Right to Censor was a pretty cool gimmick. Also. Yeah, I like that. that yeah. Was it Val, what did Val Venus Venus. turn into? Uh, I don't remember what his name was. but he That was, was the leather of the couch. I didn't fart. Uh, <laughs> yeah, uh, right. He was in that. Yeah, yeah. Valvina was, was there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then uh, Good Father, and then there was a girl. I don't remember her name. Yeah, I can picture her face, but That's, I can't think of her name. Isn't that the thing for L wrestling though? <laughs> not, <laughs> not anymore. anymore. Not anymore. No, it's really no, good. Then, Although the SmackDown women's wrestling has all been like six people tag teams. Like yeah, it used to be back in the day, which isn't good at all. No. And Ruby Riot. No, I don't even know. First off, the other two people with her when they talk, it is. Bad garbage. Yeah, it's yeah. horrible. The southern lady's like, I'm from Kentucky, and well, we do things differently. I, moonshine's another thing that's part of it. <laughs> I was like, okay, give oh. the give the give the mic back to. Her. We're in Kentucky, by the way. We are. My beautiful, we don't talk like my that. beautiful summer. Home. We talk like that. <laughs> do you guys remember when those Japanese fellas cut off Valvina's dick? Not. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Good time. Actually, kind of time probably could have made this list as well. They were they were pretty bad because um, that was the one where they they did the overdubbing when dude would be like indeed oh yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sean Patrick I have to ask you uh, we just a comment I got it says uh, if you were a wrestler what would your stage name be oh that's a good question I I would be the notorious J O E I would just lean in on a big Papa gimmick yeah and just be straight up offend everybody. And really be a heel. Just nobody would like me except you uh, and Trump supporters. But like <laughs> other than that, like that's hmm. 
That's a tough question. So you guys can think of good bad layer. Steve okay. Kyle is asking about that. Thanks, Steve, for the good question. Uh, that's the first time we've ever had like an actual podcast. Where I go, thanks for the good question. Yeah. <laughs> well, like an actual host. But I'm not. I have no idea what I'm doing half the time. You're doing a great job. Uh, thank you so much, Sean. Yes. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm up next. Uh, I'm going to take something off the list of what's not the worst successful gimmick. And this list isn't easier. Kane, Undertaker, Doink, IRS, Gold Dust, Crime Time, Akeem, Eugene, Honky Tonk Man. He really doesn't make any sense. But I'm going to lean in on what do you say about Papa Shango and take off Honky Tonk Man because this was made in a time that uh, everybody was doing weird gimmicks mm -hmm. and his is just being Elvis. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, I still don't know why it worked. Was it just because he hit people with a guitar? Yes. Was that literally all it was? People just Dang. waited. It was like Jake the Snake putting a snake. People just wanted to see a prop used. Well, and you know, he was uh, he was a big fat man. And I think everybody thinks you can beat up someone. Because he wasn't like really abnormally strong or fast or anything. He just seemed no. like he could have been beaten. So as a heel, he works really well. I guess that's true. Cause that's kind of why the Miz works so well because he's they're he similar. He shouldn't win anything. Right. They're similar kind of great talkers. I, you know, I don't know. He I'm, was a good promo guy. <laughs> <laughs> Steve's upset because Honky Dog Man's the only one he knows. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Steve. Also, no, Steve, that Steve, can't be true. Steve said if his wrestling gimmick, he's Irish and Catholic, so he would be the guilt monger. Oh, oh that's oh. fantastic. <laughs> Uh, you should write for our show. Yeah. <laughs> you should write fan fiction for this. Yeah, this, oh man, thank you very, very much fan fic. Oh man, if someone did that, I, I'd i read it. That's about it. That's all what I would do. Get? I'd read it. I might, if, you know what, if I get 12 fan fics written about Ranky very much, I'll rank the fan fics themselves in the episode. Uh, so, Ooh, therefore, I want to see that episode. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, I'm always gay. <laughs> 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 I'm half foolish. Mine would be stupid. Oh, Jordan Divis is really uh... <laughs> Yeah, you can't write for this show, Jordan, but you're writing for Bob and Tom for some reason. And uh, <laughs> uh, anyways, congrats, Jordan. Hey, wow, well, cool. no one should know it. And uh, <laughs> hope you're doing well. I haven't seen you in a while. Nah, he's not doing great. He's in space. <laughs> Gosh, he's the first chin implant ever we're gonna get. Uh, <laughs> anyways, I know he's a good kid. He's playing at life. Uh, <laughs> we're down to a final eight. Usually we only do eleven. We did fourteen. So because of that, we're gonna do one more round of veto, then really get into what I call Ooh. the nitty gritty of it. Uh, I made up that term. No one else has. Mm -hmm. uh, so one more round of vetoes. I'm starting with the most middle aged person here, Patrick. P a s s f u i m e. That's I u. It's I, I even enough. spelled it wrong. It'll work. Close enough. <laughs> oh, all right. This is tough because I can't. It's up there. It's up there. Yeah. It's I before you, except yeah. if it's a normal person. Uh, <laughs> oh man, most successful. It's really tough for me. Yeah, it hasn't got easier. Kane, no. Ticker, Doink, IRS, Gold Dust, Crime Time, a key. More successful. I mean, oh, IRS was terrible, but. <laughs> Successful. I mean, he had a decent. Bray run. Wyatt's dad. Yeah, and uh, Bo Dallas's dad. Uh, Doink was also. Doink was way over in the beginning of Raw. Yeah, like, he closed but then out he the faded, first. Though room. quickly, like I don't know. Because he was a clown. <laughs> yeah, it, when the when the shift happened, Doink was kind of out, but you know, Doink I, was really over. I know Doink was really over, and IRS was over as a heel, but I don't know how. You know what? I'm gonna go IRS because how over was IRS as a heel? I mean, when he was the IRS, Inc. Was, IRS was, was a big deal. IRS was, he did a lot of stuff with Vince. He did a lot of stuff with the Million Dollar Man. I remember that. Money, Inc. was it, His entire gimmick was being a tax guy. He the accountant. And who hates, everybody hates tax guys. <laughs> right. <laughs> but I, no, like, you know, they always make a joke, oh, they do wrestling gimmicks at the jobs and everything. That was the guy that did the, the like, mm -hmm. he, they just did it and it worked really well. Just a businessman. Yeah. And not even a businessman, just like the nerdy businessman wore glasses. Yeah. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna go doink because IRS actually <laughs> makes sense. So you think it? Wait, what do you think is the worst? No, no wait. You're, you're, I'm so confused. Yes. The worst. So, the, worst, worst, success, success, so the gimmick was successful, but you're it was, but, a, but it was a horrible gimmick. Yeah. That one, like the reason IRS, I have it like this because Shockmaster would win it otherwise. Yeah. yeah. IRS makes sense at the time because okay. we had Ted DiBiase. 
So you're saying IRS shouldn't win worst successful game? Because you're saying it made sense. Yeah, it makes sense. Okay. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. So he's IRS. taking the IRS off the list. All right. Thank you for that. Irving Rawling Schuster, what was his name? Uh, Irwin, Irwin R. Schuster. Schuster. Yeah. Was he Jewish? He's got to be. <laughs> <laughs> well, hi! He's the only Jewish. Well, hi! That's, that's me throwing the yellow card. That's the yellow yeah, yeah. card. Yeah. The boomerang of the hat. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Uh, you're up next, Sean. It it has it doesn't get easier. I think I know who I'm gonna take off. But I do next, and I, I but I think it's all really difficult right now. I think I'm gonna go with Kane, but only because Kane is a byproduct of the Undertaker. Okay, hmm. that makes sense. Yeah, you're derivative. You're, you're you're sitting there. It's gonna come down to Kane or Undertaker at some point. Decide right. between those two. So Kane, you guys don't know. Kane was the brother of the Undertaker. The, who lived in the house that Undertaker burned down with his family in it. He's alive! <laughs> and Kane survived. Right. Uh, damn, Iron Sheik now work as a horrible gimmick on so many levels. <laughs> yeah, Iron, Iron Sheik for sure. Uh, his, whole, his Twitter account makes up for it leaps and bounds. <laughs> <Sheik makes sense. laughs> Well, yeah, at the time, it, 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 there's all, I mean, you go with so many different ones. Uh, who was the guy who was during 9-11? Sergeant Ahmed, Ahmed John. No, no not Ahmed. Uh, oh, the, you the know Middle Eastern guy. About? Yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, when the, when 9-11 happened, they had a Middle Eastern guy who was a heel. Oh. I can't remember his name now. But Tiger Ali uh, Singh? No, 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 no. It was, a, it was a, there wasn't like a confusing name. I don't remember who it was, though. Uh, I used to watch Hulk Hogan's rock and roll wrestling cartoon on Saturday morning. Does that make me kind of cool? Yes. Yeah, Steve, uh, to us three, which 100%. probably doesn't make you kind of cool because you're cool to <laughs> us three. Uh, and we're, we've are we been really leaning in on wrestling. So. Right. <laughs> uh, uh, but, yeah, so you're taking off. Kane. Kane. Yeah. Because of that. Yeah, so Kane, bur Undertaker burned his house down with his family, and Kane survived later on. That's why he wore a mask because his face messed up. Then he took his mask off. And it wasn't and everybody messed was like, up. Look how gross And then the next day, he just washed his face. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then he, remember he used to talk with the voice box? So yeah. like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not take now, And then he just, he lost that completely. Now, if you would have put him as Isaac Yankum DDS. <laughs> that oh, wasn't successful at all. Wasn't successful. He did wrestle with Red Orange is like a major paper. Yeah, yeah Vince McMahon hated the dentist. Right. <laughs> So he's like, you're he 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 a dentist out there. Ah, I'm going to get it for you. Yeah, you're going to go out there and you're going you're gonna to pull teeth. Because watching your matches are like pulling teeth. You were my dentist the whole time, Austin. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm up next. Uh, I'm just going to I'm gonna take this one off. And the only reason I ta I'm taking this off because I, I don't think it was, I don't know, was it? It was during a time no one really watched wrestling until CM Punk brought it back. But I'm going to... Crime time. Yeah, yeah, I think crime time because I don't think it was successful. It's a horrible gimmick. Yeah, it was incredibly racist. Yes, but crime yeah. time. I don't even think yo, they ever. Yo, had, yo. Did they ever win? <laughs> it was Shad and JTG. I JTG. think won and singles, but I don't think. No, you know what? They might have gotten that belt. I felt like they wrestled. They felt like it was I a time like that them and the Usos just wrestled each other over and over and over. Again. I actually think they did win win the tag belts. Okay, well then the only person here left. Didn't. Akeem didn't and Doink didn't. The Doink ever, Doink ever held a belt. No. Eugene held a belt. Doink didn't have to win a belt. Eugene probably needed to win a belt. Akeem was incapable of winning a belt. Yeah, and then I'm but between... I think Akeem actually wrestled Hogan. Yeah, Crime Time. Crime Time did not. I'm taking Crime Time off the list because I just feel like because Joe Bates hates black people. Oh no! <laughs> no! 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 Yeah, I take Akeem off. Akeem. No! 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 no it's the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm taking Crime Time off because I feel like it, it, years later, no one's gonna remember Crime Time and people remember no. people still remember Akeem. Uh, that's a, a a good a good uh, little meme. Do so people bad. meme still? Akeem the meme. Akeem yes. the meme. The <laughs> dream. Yo, 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 yo. Crime Time's off the list. I actually think Crime Time, it, it was, yes, it was racist. But they made it, they made it really entertaining. Like, the actual characters made it entertaining. Yeah. That well, there were ideas set out. It was just like New Day. I mean, it's... Also, both of them were bad outset, but they made it into something. Has anyone else ever wrestled in baggy jeans before? Other than maybe the Hardys? Uh, that can't be easy. 
probably not. I feel like there'd be a lot of... Yeah, Hardy's running out there with Jinko jeans and shit. <laughs> a lot of Jinko jeans. Uh, you know, not that I can think of. <laughs> can you say leaning in a few hundred times? Thanks, Dan. Uh, <laughs> hey, you need to lean in on leaning I, in. I'm really big. I'm leaning in on leaning in. I've been saying lean in a whole bunch. Which I'm going to lean in on. Podcast. Bro. We're done. <laughs> this has been fun. No, uh, we're down to our final five, folks. So we get to the nitty gritty. Uh, we're gonna go one at a time. Uh, decide what should be uh, in the top three, what shouldn't be the top three. But before we do that, we're gonna talk about our criteria in judging what an actual worst successful gimmick is. And while we're doing that, guys, on YouTube Live or on Facebook Live, feel free to comment on an item we may have missed, a wrestler we should add to it to make for the final six. So feel free, if you guys are watching there or watching there, uh, just so you know, if you guys don't say anything, I will be adding Grain Grill to the list. Grain uh, Grill. Because he was a vampire. Yep. He was like a real vampire. He was yeah. a, he was a, not, he wasn't, he wasn't fun, teen heartthrob vampire. No. He wasn't sparkling in the daytime. He literally was just an old school. But he did wrestle during the day, I assume. So. I don't know how. No, you know, he, I think he used a lot of umbrellas. How, how successful was Gang Grill? His, his intercontinental you know, champion. Anyway, yeah. 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 You know Gangrel's greatest success was bringing, uh, or him uh, taking Edge and Christian under his wing. Yeah. yeah. The yeah. Brood. It was super successful. The Brood was awesome. Uh, but before you go, so what's your, uh, Patrick, what's your criteria in deciding what a worst successful gimmick is? Uh, just, I guess some somebody, or a gimmick that is, just doesn't make sense, but yet somehow they've kept one in belts, or they've just been around forever, and so over Okay, so somebody, the gimmick doesn't make, it doesn't make any sense why they were successful, but. Yeah. Sorry. I see the comments there. Uh, okay, that makes sense. So you, you're, you're more leaning on the successful part of it. Yeah, but they, it has successful. to be a terrible gimmick. Yeah, well, I will say the ones we have left are very, very bad gimmicks. Uh, Sean, how about you? What are you, what are you deciding uh, makes the worst successful gimmick for you? Um, I think. Uh, longevity has to play into it. How long they were in that gimmick. Okay. Um, how uh, sometimes belts can be misleading because sometimes you can be over with that belt. I think belts are used to make legitimacy, like it, to legitimize a character. And so some like Doink didn't really need a belt because or he was does. he was his own event. It was like Santino. Yes. <laughs> No one puts his God, Santino, that's another terrible I don't know gimmick. what his gimmick was, though. I think he was just Santino. Santino? He was an Italian with a Santina. sock on his hand. And uh, <laughs> he had a unibrow. Yeah, he did have a unibrow. I actually don't think anyone ever kicked out of the Cobra. I don't think so either. People, and the, and the only time anyone's ever, and people have only once have kicked out of the Jackhammer, which was WrestleMania last year, Brock Lesnar. The uh, first oh, person man. to ever kick out of the, 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 the Jackhammer. Jackknife? Jackhammer. Jackhammer, yeah. I didn't realize that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I, you can find me the only time that someone kicked out of it. I don't think anyone ever has. Hmm. So the Cobra is now the most devastating finisher. That's awesome. It makes sense. Cobras oh, wow. are very dangerous. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Did you see him and uh, Mankind when they got Sako and the Cobra intertwined? <laughs> yeah. It makes sense. Those terrible gimmicks. Uh, all of the other people have mentioned Joey Ryan. Who is having huge success in the indie wrestling thing? And this whole thing, one of his big things now is you grab his dick, he flips <laughs> you. He flips you with his dick. I have seen that. He's done that. To, he's also done that to Mick Foley, bringing that up. And yeah. He wants it to. He somebody grabbed his dick, and there's like eight other people in the ring, and then the guy grabbed the next guy's dick, and then the next guy's dick, to the next guy's dick, and then he flipped all of them. <laughs> That's uh, that might be the greatest move ever. <laughs> the old dick flip. It can, why would anyone grab someone's dick? <laughs> yeah. It didn't even need to happen. No. <laughs> and they all do this, like, they grab it, and they go, <gasps> and he goes, Ugh, and he flexes, and they go, oh, and he flexes, and go, ah, oh, and then he does a turn. Oh, that's some flip intense over. dick wiggle. Yeah, yeah the guy, I mean, he knows that he, there's a magnet connection when it's on. Uh, other ones that were mentioned, you mentioned a couple. The, the, the Dungeon Masters, or what was it? The Dungeon no, of Doom. Dungeon, Dungeon of Doom. Doom is one of my all-time favorites because, so even, I think it's just the promo of the introduction of uh, the Giant, of Big uh, Big Show. Yeah, that's Big Show, right? Because yeah. I watched that clip, I was like, oh, wait a second. That's, that's yeah. how they introduced Big Show. But it is out of the wall. He, it's the most insane... <laughs> 
this was like I really think that Terry was trying to get his Thunder in Paradise off the ground, and so he was like. Let me show my acting chops. <laughs> and it did not and work it was out. So it was so bad. Weird. And he's had so many bad like promo moments after his glory days where mm-hmm. he's messed up and said the wrong things. This is like the him and McMahon's promo thing where he's like, if I was just the right guy, gay in the right um, place. <laughs> <laughs> if I was gay with you, McMahon, brother, dude. <laughs> welcome to the um, Silver Point Coliseum, dude. Right. <laughs> Welcome to the Pontiac Dome. Hey, where are we, brother? I don't know where we are anymore, dude. Um, Welcome to Canada. (laughs) (laughs) I am a real Canadian. (laughs) No! Uh, Eat your prayers, say your vitamins, I'm out of here. I'm a nanny now. (laughs) Did you see Suburban 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 Commando? (laughs) Brother, Mark Calloway was the best actor in it. Um... So yeah, no, but then, so then you had the, uh, every one of those characters are bad, they just weren't successful. Kamala was the only one who stayed Kamala. Then you had the shark, uh, you had... Kamala the, should be on this list. He had, Kamala is, um, yeah. <laughs> like, he actually... He had like a, a guy with a pith helmet would like, take yeah. him, like taser him out into the, it was the yeah. worst. Actually, I might fight for Kamala to take, <laughs> to knock someone out of this, because as I think about this, the nonverbal um, <laughs> supreme racist. He had a moon on his belly button and two stars for nipples. Oh god! But he wrestled top level. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Under the giant steel cage match. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he just yawned. He yawned. You got a moon on your belly, brother. <laughs> <laughs> It was so and bad. For a long time. He wrestled for a long time. I didn't the first time I saw a Kamala match was when I, I won the Watch Don Julia Giant. I got WWE Network. Mm-hmm. 999. And uh, <laughs> I turned that up and I turned that on. And I go, what? Wait. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, no. Yeah. What? Yeah. I no. wonder if uh, anytime Kamala knocks someone out in the ring, if instead of the, instead of seeing stars, they just saw Kamala nipples. Oh, yeah. 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 All right. Well, I'm going to see myself I mean, out. I've been through so much. It might have been Lucky Charms. <laughs> just yellow moons. Uh, okay. Uh, well, um, so far we have three. We have Kamala, Gangrel, and Iron Sheep was offered by up there on YouTube. Mm-hmm. Um, I will fight for Kamala. But yeah, the, the, the Zodiac was bad too because that was uh, uh, Bruce the Barber Beefcake, but he just had zebra stripes on his face. Yeah. Uh, well, that was also <laughs> back in the day when everyone's gimmick was just a profession. Yeah, it was just a job. <laughs> yeah. Well, no, that was, that, that's what I'm saying. The one, two, three, Bruce kid. the Barber Beefcake, yeah. yeah. But Bruce the Barber Beefcake had Zodiac. Zodiac was way worse. Oh, I don't know why I just somehow reminded me. You know another that could be, it was successful, but only in, in a weird sense. The Brooklyn Brawler. Yeah, he lost like the most successful event. jobber. Yeah, yeah by far the most successful jobber of all time. He lost literally. Every but it was kind of a successful them. gimmick in that, like everyone knows of the Brooklyn Brawler. You know what I mean? Like you know what I you know, I might add the less the worst successful gimmick was the uh, Owen Hart dying thing. <laughs> oh yeah, terrible. <laughs> they leaned in. <laughs> uh, I mean, he's still dead. Oh, well, actually, if you go that way, Chris Benoit then. Well, I've never heard of this story. What happened then? <laughs> this guy you said? Not a good fellow. <laughs> Canadian. Oh, see, that's the problem right there. Yeah. That's probably why he murdered his wife and kids and then killed himself. Whoa! <laughs> Is that what happened? <laughs> oh, you made the wrong rumble. <laughs> you yeah. didn't like that he... Yeah, I was like, this is the most successful rumble win. Uh, he was like a real Wolverine when he yeah. murdered his family. And, uh, oh. <laughs> but here's the thing. Oh. You don't know how his family was. Yeah, what'd you say to him? <laughs> yeah, like what? It's, oh, God. Those I, kids get it real can loud. We edit, can we yeah, edit this? Now this is live. live. This is all live. Uh, <laughs> We're doing it live. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, I, re- I retract the, that joke from the record. <laughs> I, I was thinking a really bad joke. But I can't figure out how to say it. So you know how like they're like, oh, it's been done. You know, mm-hmm. when Phil Hartman's wife was about to kill him, he's like, it's been long. <laughs> you know what I mean? I don't know if that's gonna catch up. Well, we'll see. Hey, hashtag it's been long. <laughs> it's on YouTube when you write out to us. 
Um, Captain Lil Bono is his favorite. He was Steve Jobs. Captain Lil Bono, the rubber band. Yeah, he's yeah. actually one of the best managers of all time. Cindy yeah. Lauper. I mean, Paul Bear is still the yeah. best manager, which I'll get to that when we talk about the Undertaker. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay, so you're voting Kamala. I'm going to vote Gangrel. So you can choose between those two or Iron Sheik to make this and make it more difficult. But I'm assuming you don't want to choose Iron Sheik. So what do you think oh, should man. be added? I do Kamala love I love Iron Sheik, but I'm gonna go. Oh, this is tough. Man, it's not easy. It's tough. One is a vampire, and one was really racist. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna. I'll just. I'll go Kamala. Okay, Kamala. <laughs> I, I do love some. Uh, some Gangrel. Gangrel though. was Gangrel drank blood. <laughs> yeah, he, was, he had a white shirt on, like dude. Well, I the Gangrel had a match for the Intercontinental Championship against X Pac that I watched, and the crowd is booing from the beginning at everything. They're throwing stuff yeah. in the ring. It was a miserable match. Mm -hmm. Just two guys trying the Attitude Era at, at the peak of like Attitude Era was great until the fans became the worst. Yeah, they were, they got too involved. Um, and if you're not down with that, I found out that Gangrel like was a legit like they he practiced. He was a real vampire. But him and <laughs> him and Luna Bashan literally would like drink blood and stuff together. Oh, uh, gross! Yeah, like he was like a for real. He he, he practiced a lamb a vampire lifestyle. You know who else I'm surprised not on this list? Bam Bam Bigelow. I don't know what his gimmick is. is that exactly. Yeah, he just he's just. <laughs> he's got, he's got burning head. I got. I got spandex and flames because I got fire tattoos <laughs> on my head. Yeah, I went this far on my gimmick to get a tattoo on my head. <laughs> and he also got kicked by Damon Wayans in Major Pain. That's so. true. He did. Oh, my god. Bam Bam was... Give me your hand. Bam Bam, Bam, Bam was the most it. agile big man of his... Uh, Bam Bam was... Oh, awesome. yeah, I don't think we'll ever see a more agile big man than right now with Braun Strowman. Because that guy... Oh, wait, now. Now. Yeah, he's doing ridiculous things. I mean, he flipped an ambulance. <laughs> Well, yeah. They showed. Did you see they showed the side angle of him lifting the truck? Yeah, but they don't show the top of it. Oh, that's the very true. Top of it. I was like, and there's also you can see the tires are hydraulics. Yeah. So, so maybe like it's kind of I don't know. Oh, but he's like, still got to be strong. It's still, as shit. it's still ridiculous. Yeah. It's so it's so ludicrous. <laughs> I'm not finished with you. <laughs> I mean, I like when he walked in the recording studio and he was like, "What does this button do?" If I smash it, will it stop the program? And the guy's like, ah! And he just walks away and goes, what does this button do? And then they leave, and then they show the room. They're like, okay, everyone, get in the room, get in the room. And then he never go back to the room. Yeah. It's just a weird, just, can we be on TV once? That's good. <laughs> uh, so we're going to go to the list. We have six here. Uh, we have six here right now. And uh, we're going to say whether they should be the top three. We'll start with uh, The Undertaker. Do you think The Undertaker is a top three worst successful gimmick? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I, it's a zombie. Uh, Doink. Do you think Doink? He's not even a zombie. <laughs> yeah, he's not even. He's just a he undertaker. He takes care of dead. <laughs> yeah. That is somehow a zombie. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it makes no sense. He's just like. <laughs> the Brenter Union is a joke with Jimmy Digger. He goes, so like during the day, he's. Works at the mortuary that he's got to go open a can of whoop ass and some jabronis. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like it's a night job. I really got to cut into it. Yeah. Uh, oh, God, I really. Do you think Doink the Clown is a top three worst successful gimmick? I don't think so. Compared to these Compared other ones? Compared to the other ones. I, yeah, I would agree. I, I think uh, he actually, I mean, he fit in that time as a clown. In the early 90s, there were silly gimmicks. No, no, yeah, no, no, no. He was a clown. He, that was his profession. Everyone had a profession. He just had to be a clown. Why in the world would a clown be a wrestler? <laughs> like, everything else, like, these other people have reasons to fight. I, but I'm big on the on the thing, like, you have to have a reason to fight. Right? Like, all of the people who are in wrestling should have a reason or some type of disposition. The literally happiest profession on earth I should not have uh, a reason. Right, one just for kids. Well, like, me, literally not for adults. He was the evil clown, it makes sense. Let me but school he you was not the evil on clown so backstory of why he became a wrestler. Okay, okay what happened? Patient. Someone popped his favorite balloon dog. And uh, it sent him on a path to wrestle. I'll tell you what, I thought this would be a lot more detail. Nope. It's simple. <laughs> I didn't it's know it was that simple. Yeah, it is simple. wrestling. They don't have time to wrestle. It wasn't that successful. Yeah. Doink was successful. Kinda. Doink was big. Doink, Doink was big. huge. Doink was huge in the beginning. Well, of the matter of fact, and you know it's not successful when four different people have to do the gimmick. That is a fair thing. 
that there was still successful. It's so the ridiculous. gimmick is so over that four other people can do it. And and, you know, they, they they that's, a, one that no, no. The, the, that's just a filler. Like they go, I'm Vince. Like we need a clown. You put on the door. Okay. Here's here's my. Here, this is what I'm going to fight for doing. If the music hit today, okay, people would go crazy. <laughs> if, the music if the Kings music hit. No one would fucking know. Okay, fair. Then the the king, you gotta go. The king's gotta go. Just imagine doing at the doctors, and he's like, "My muscles are so sore from wrestling and everything, and I just feel so sad." And the doctor goes, "We should go see the town clown." <laughs> <laughs> and the doink goes, "I am, am the clown." <laughs> <laughs> just dressed as doink. <laughs> That's a fair criterion. Is if their music hit today, who would be? Nobody would know. No one would know. People would get excited when he walked out. Maybe that would die. Maybe no. I bet most people today go, "Who the fuck is that guy?" Somebody's calling me. (laughs) It's Florida. (laughs) It's the whole state of Florida. Just all of Florida. Yeah. Okay. Keep. The Kings got, I think. I mean, we haven't even got the gold dust. So oh, we'll do- you're we'll put, doing top three. We'll put Doink in the bubble it. here. We'll put okay. Doink in the bubble. bubble. Uh, we're saying Undertaker definitely. Go gold dust, hundred percent. You think gold dust is the top three successful? Hundred percent. I don't even know what the gimmick is other than he, being a real be, weird dude. Like it was all movie stuff. He's and, an Emmy. Yeah, basically. Wait, oh, he's he is an Emmy. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah. Gold dust. That makes the whole thing. I was gonna like, what is gold dust production? But he is. He is an Emmy. <laughs> it's like the, the Emmy. He's a gay Oscar. Came to life, or Oscar. Yeah, he's that's a gay. He's the gay Oscar. It's like that the Oscar give came to life because Emmy's a glove. Yeah, yeah he's that's the Oscar crazy. Came to life and because yeah. that that's what thing. he. So that's what you decided. That's what he decided. Like that's kind of where it yeah. came from. But that's then he was like, what it came from. <laughs> but then he, had this, he was all so he's he into making movies or whatever, and it was like. But then he had this weird like, is he gay? Is he not gay? Angle. He'll kiss you, but then he also makes out Melina or whatever her name is. Yeah. Well, yeah. And then uh, it's so like gender is fluid. Yeah. Yeah. Well, not then. He's bisexual. They were bisexual back then. Did they? I don't think they, they existed until 2002. <laughs> <laughs> he was around 2002. <laughs> yeah, but before that, he invented it. <laughs> Gold dust, the first. We bisexual. don't have to date one or the other. Oh, what the hell is this? Gold dust? I thought you were the living embodiment of an Oscar. And he made out on that Johnson. So, so. here's Gold dust. The reason for the gender bending thing came from the way that um, Dennis Rodman was yeah. it, on the court. You know, he would like yeah. use people on the court, and he would do that kind of stuff. And so, so Gold dust is a mixture of the Oscar and, and Dennis, Dennis Rodman. Rodman. <laughs> Which he is the worst so, successful gimmick. He, I mean, he kicked the guy in the nuts. Yeah. yeah. Oh, he would sure. jerk dudes off in the ring. <laughs> that was the story. Wait, wait, wait. No, yeah. we didn't do that. He would, wait, wait, he would hold him down. One, <laughs> no, two, I just, I, this three. Three. And he would, I don't think I like that out there. Well, I'm just showing you how go <laughs> does. Jesus Christ. Are right you in my go, home? Go does. <laughs> Goldust finisher was making you finish. Oh <laughs> gosh! I mean, the act that was. And that, that was about, yeah. My parents are yeah. watching. I would like to see Goldust versus that guy who could flip you with it if you grab his dick. Because <laughs> he's still holding on. Uh, he's, oh, it feels so good, brother. I think Goldust. Goldust. I don't know if he's. I don't know because he's still wrestling. He's still so wrestling. About longevity, like though. Longevity. Yeah, he's successful. He's and, successful. You know, Gold is with the Vince McMahon once and goes, hey, you give me a million dollars, I will get breast implants. Oh, and, yeah. yeah. And Vince goes, oh, I, man. I, that's, I mean, that'd be kind of and funny. And Gold <laughs> Goldust was main inventing in the late, like, mid to late 90s. He was. He never won a title, though. No, but he was main inventing with title matches with Shawn Michaels and, like, yeah. like oh, top guys. Okay. We'll, have Gold, we'll keep Goldust on the list. Uh... I like Goldie. Blue. And he's Dusty Rose's son, baby. You can't go wrong with that. <laughs> the American Green. A father of the God do what a father of the God do, John <laughs> Cena. That's my favorite moment of him. I know he's got all these other moments, but when he put Cody Rose, he goes, A father of the God do what a father of Akeem. Is Akeem a top three? I, I say no. no. Okay, Akeem really was just, I don't know how he lasted this long. He was throwing around a lot. By Akeem. Uh, he was in the was nation, really bad. He was in the nation of domination, right? No. Wait, what was he in? 
He was Akeem wasn't in anything. No, he, Akeem wasn't. I thought he was part no, of a no, group. No, I thought he, he was like was, the white guy. He was, but uh, what was that group? I want to say he was with like the Natural Disasters or something. No, like that. that was a uh, was an earthquake and uh, that was an earthquake uh, and typhoon, typhoon but, yeah. or tugboat, which I think is also one of the worst. <laughs> yeah, he's just more you now you're just a vehicle. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, it was diesel. diesel too, yeah. <laughs> But I'm a, you're a profession or a vehicle. I'm a transformer. Yeah. <laughs> Tugboat was one of the worst vehicles. Yeah. Um it had to be a why not yeah, it's a a tugboat? Tug, like, nobody's afraid of a tugboat. Like a battleship. Be a battleship. Don't be a tugboat. No a tugboat. And then he wore like he looked he he dressed in up a fucking sailor's hat. Sailor's hat and like the striped like the white puff red. marshmallow man. And white pants. He was the worst. <laughs> God, what a Hey, it's a boat guy! <laughs> yeah! I love boats! Uh, okay, well, next. Like, we haven't even talked about this guy yet. No. And I'm surprised that we, you guys think we already got our top three, it looks like. But Eugene. I know. I think Eugene's he's... gimmick was he was a mentally handicapped man. Yeah. The Shout man out to Nick Zimmer. Yeah. Idiot Savant. The man with the, the mind of a child. Yeah. That wrestled adult men who had adult minds. Yeah. Yes. Who were okay with doing whatever they want. I'm gonna say that's top three because that was over at the time. And he had over. runs with Rock, Triple H. Like I mean, the way he held his hands and his jacket wasn't buttoned correctly. Yeah. Ever. Right. I mean, I don't know what they were going for other than this is definitely. Yeah. And you can never do that today. You could be an open mic comic. Yeah. <laughs> By the way, I. I I got beat up by Eugene once. He did. Yeah. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I have a, you can YouTube professional wrestler attacks comedian, <clears throat> and it's me getting the shit beat out of me by Eugene. Do you think? So in real life, he's like a normal guy. Yeah, he's and a then super he just nice guy. Turns it on. Yeah. Into Eugene. Yeah. You know, one time I saw a comic. Uh, his name was Pharaoh Dunn, uh, and he was doing an impression of Bill Cosby, and it was. One of the worst things. Oh, blah, 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 like uh, you know, uh, you gotta eat the pudding. Dr- I'm drugging you with the pudding, but it wasn't even a good impression. I was like, that's as good as impression was. Mm. Then he followed up with a story of being friends with a retarded guy, mm. and then just doing the act outs of it. He goes, it's fine. He was my friend, and then like drooling on the stage. Oh Jesus! And like, there's no jokes. Oh, he's just doing the act outs of a mentally handicapped man, and then saying the word retard a whole bunch. And then, uh, anyway, he took me to L.A. once. <laughs> that's cool. That's nice. Yeah. That's so, yeah. That's, uh, anyway. uh, Eugene, he's actually from, he's from Lowell. God, I forgot. Uh, I was and, it was the yeah. worst that I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> uh, so if you're watching Pharaoh and Don, you're, you're the worst. <laughs> <laughs> that's a handy cable of a hat coming at you. So Eugene, yeah, he beat you up. Yeah, he beat the shit out of me. Well, the idea was... <laughs> Mick Foley does stand up now, so I was going to open for Mick Foley. And the premise of the video was that if Mick Foley can do stand up, I can be a wrestler. It's not a problem. Oh. So I called Nick, Eugene, and I was like, hey, I have this idea for a video. Would you like to just beat the shit out of me? And then he was like, yeah, of course. <laughs> so, so Wait, you know him personally? Yeah. yeah. Is he from Louisville? Yeah. yeah. Oh, I didn't know that at all. Yeah. Wow, we he's came a, to Eugene's a, hometown. Yeah. If he pops out of this chimney right now, well, he lives in like uh, Nebraska Eugene. somewhere right now. He owns his oh. own. Uh, he's got his own wrestling store. Fuck it, let's call him. I got his number. He's an OPW grad. Yeah, um, I don't. I don't feel bad. Like, hey, do you, you, you think your gimmick was really offensive? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure he'd say no. I mean, probably. Yeah, he's no. Like, I played it up a little. He's bit. a super nice guy. But yeah, he, if you yeah Google that or just look up Nick Eugene Densmore and uh, there's videos of me getting the fuck beat out of me by him. So you guys are saying Eugene top three worst gimmick? I think so because he worked with some of the top guys in the industry. When his music hit, people went nuts. <clears throat> he didn't win a belt, did he? Because yeah, yeah, no, he did win a belt. Yeah, I think he had a hard, I think he had a hardcore belt, maybe. I can't. He might have. Was he Intercontinental at all? No, remember. not Intercontinental. I don't think that. But he had like one of the, the hardcore. He had a tag belt. with anybody. I feel like he had a tag belt. He might have had a belt like The Rock. Yeah, that's what. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Like. <laughs> Uh, but, dude, that's a that's when you know you're over when you're working with those guys. What was Eugene's last match on TV? Mm, couldn't tell you. It was versus the Calgary Kid. Really? Yeah. Did not know it that. was for a contract to get an uh, uh, actual WWE contract. It was a contract match, contract for the pole match. Mm-hmm. 
and he lost to the Calgary kid who then revealed himself to be the Miz. Oh, nice. Oh. The Miz got fired and then used the Calgary kid and beat up nice. Eugene to get back into the yeah. WWE. Nice. So the Miz. Miz had oh, he also had that I love where, uh, remember he was supposed to be like Eric Bischoff's nephew? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, like, that's not a huge name. Yeah. Take care, Steve. Thanks for watching. Did a good uh, Steve. Uh, but yeah. Steve. Yes, yeah, Steve. So we're saying Eugene top three. You're you're still on the fence between him and Doink. Yeah. And then we got Kamala. You I think know. It's Kamala. That, it sounds to me. on that end, too. It's Kamala as racist as Kamala is. Oh, that's tough. I, we're at five. We've got to get this to three. Yeah. Oh, well, here's the other problem, though. If you... If Kamala came out today, no one would fucking know. They'd be like, oh, this is really weird. I think he's dead. If Kamala, but came, I'm saying, if Kamala came out today doing that gimmick, though, the crowd would boo. That's what I'm saying. If Eugene did the same thing, would I don't know. <laughs> Eugene was Eugene came out like six years ago. Yeah, no but now was, in today's climate, you yeah, know. that's but it's so bad. Maybe ten years ago. I don't watch wrestling. It's been like the early two, mid 2000s, I guess, 2004, five. Okay. Oh, man. Is Eugene a more successful and worse gimmick than a clown? I think. So. Did, don't, who, I think. I think. I think. Did, I think. If we did worst gimmick of all these five, no, oh, Doix is for sure. No, Eugene was playing. A movie oh yeah, 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 man. Yeah, that makes sense. And wrestling. Well, he was. It was just, it's just, because they have, they can do anything the rest of us can do. I didn't Joe. think so. I didn't think Eugene was mentally handicapped. I just thought he was like he's on a spectrum. Yeah, <laughs> so, but that's different. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it, he wasn't like mentally handicapped. He was just, just super. All, he all, was autistic he was or on that, on that spectrum of idiot savant thing. Yeah, where he can learn wrestling moves really quickly. It's like if he drops some wrestling moves on the ground, he can count. Okay, yeah, he can count all the wrestling moves. <laughs> All right, then we're saying because we don't. You're saying Eugene's not top three, is what I'm hearing. That's what I think. Okay, we talked us into it. I am crossing off a man who apparently wasn't that mentally handicapped to be the worst gimmick, successful gimmick. Eugene, <laughs> I can't believe I crossed that. I feel bad crossing it off. I feel bad. I feel bad every day. Uh, <laughs> it's just it's turning into a whole other level. So we're agreeing Undertaker and Goldust are definitely in the top three. Yeah. We're between Doink and Kamala. In this case, <laughs> I'm, in this weird. Course, I'm going Doink. Top three. Sean, you're doing that as well? You uh, fought for Kamala, but he may have to get beat by a clown. Um, yep, nope, I'm going with Doink. I'm taking Kamala the list, which I also feel really bad about. Oh, okay. Right. Well, this is super white now. Huh? <laughs> that one's gold. Um, <laughs> and the other, the other one, it's it's white face. Yeah. Uh, Actually, they're both white face. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, God damn it! Okay. When, when will they learn? Initially, um, he did have white face. You not remember that? I don't. He made yeah, himself yeah. paler. Um, yeah, and he had purple gloves when he debuted. Yeah. <laughs> so we're down to our final three: Undertaker, Doink, and Gold Dust. Uh, of these three, do you think one this is, this should be in the top two? God, it's tough now because Gold Gold Dust worked with the top guy. Undertaker obviously has longevity belts. I mean, Undertaker is easily the most successful person. On this yeah, list. he's the most. He might be the most successful wrestler of all time. But he's great. All good. Um, top two has to be Gold Dust and Undertaker. Yeah, Doink, you're gone. You're a clown. Now we can finally talk about the nitty gritty. I have to say, about lean in on the nitty gritty. Just lean in on the nitty gritty. Uh, Buy your shirts. Uh, to be <laughs> rank you very, very much, much, guys. Yeah, you, yeah, the rank very much dot com. The shirts. Nitty gritty. Lean, lean in. in on the nitty gritty. <laughs> lean in on the nitty gritty. I I feel weird. <laughs> <laughs> Undertaker and Gold Dust. One is the living body of the Oscar. We have not talked about Undertaker that much, to be honest. No, we haven't. Okay. He. I mean, we've talked. He worked in a mortuary. Yeah. Yes. But. It's the story that he burned his family down in a house. Right. And then Paul Bear took him under his wing. Yes. Yeah. Was Paul Bear secretly his dad or is he secretly Kane's dad or something? Yeah, he was Kane's dad. Kane's dad. Yeah. And uh because he was giving it to Undertaker's mom. I've said this. Oh yeah. I don't Ooh. need well I mean, is she a I'm ghost? Coming. <laughs> no, no. I'm the I'm the ghost of I'm a ghost lady. No, he he did Paul turn Bear. Oh. 
Yeah. Oh, okay. I thought you were talking about a good mom. <laughs> yeah. She would also be like, Oh, I'm oh, a What a weird. Oh, I'm an herb. Oh, my gum. <laughs> it's powdered. Oh, my gum. Why is all this gum powdered? <laughs> uh, also, just so you know, Paul Bear, I didn't really get that. What his name was until I was like 25. Yeah. Like, oh, Paul Bear. Yeah, he's a Paul he's Bear. A Paul Bear. He's a Paul Bear. I didn't realize. Yeah. I thought that was his real life which, name. Which also adds to the horrible <laughs> punny gimmick, like yeah. wordplay that they always used to do in the early 90s. Undertaker is just. In, but no, but then he became undead later on. I think was. Yeah, because like, you can't kill a dead man. Dead man already dead. Absolutely. So here's the thing. Oh, the guy who would say, said he was going to murder a lot of people, he really never murdered anybody. No. And he also, even coffin matches. He drew came out. power from the urn as yeah. well. Yeah. yeah, he worshipped the urn. But at, at recently guys, brought lightning down in the middle of the ring. <laughs> have you guys seen the promo uh, with the girl who was doing the? I want to say it was like a stop smoking or drunk driving. It was a drunk driving th- thing, and she's just reading it, and she is like, you know, says like this really sad story, and then the camera like goes over to Undertaker, and he just goes. <laughs> the most ridiculous. <laughs> I, I want to find it so that I can tell all of you where to find it later. So forgive me for putting my head down and really searching for this. I also like that nowadays when they bring him out, they're like, also, the Undertaker has studied MMA. He's a great striker. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Wait, what? <laughs> he yeah. was this undead guy, and now he, yeah, took, he yeah. took some MMA classes. <laughs> Hi, I'm gonna take some MMA classes. You know, it's gonna be the best. Oh, the Undertaker. Do you have the uh, undead discount? <laughs> uh, All right, guys, we're gonna be landing grapples today. So if that zombie over there can just get my arm with a triangle lock. Hey, uh, there's no urns allowed in here, sir. <laughs> okay, so you're gonna want to look up Undertaker says don't drink and drive. <laughs> Okay. That is, that's the thing on YouTube. So, yeah, definitely check that one out. Um, <laughs> yeah, Undertaker had a lot of different incarnations. I love, like you said, corporate ministry. Undertaker yeah. was probably. Ministry of Darkness. That's what he was. Pure evil. Great. He was. Uh, and he and had the music fucking, was awesome. Just that stupid. And he. Um, he also murdered Ultimate Warrior with my brother in Miami. Yeah. Yeah. He, yeah. he locked him in that coffin. And he was clawing his way out. Yeah. My, one of my, my er, the first moment of wrestling I remember was Undertaker uh, versus Ultimate Warrior. Ultimate Warrior flipped him out of the ring, and then he just stayed out of the ring for the 10 count. Oh, yeah. And I was like, this is amazing. Yeah. I didn't understand the rules, but I was like, this nobody should beat this guy. Right, and yeah. Ultimate Warrior did beat that guy. And I was like, oh, you know what else is crazy about The Undertaker? He's been in so many like first-time type matches. Like, Hell in a boiler cell. room match, Hell in a Cell, casket match, fighting fight an Inferno match. Fighting Ellie Gante. Yeah, just like, no one's done that. No one. <laughs> no one should ever fight a guy He's in a body like, suit. <laughs> <laughs> that might be. That's another one. <laughs> he yeah. was not, Gio Gonzalez was, was not be. successful. John Gonzalez was terrible. What was that, WrestleMania 10? No, no, not 10. Uh, the one in Caesar's Palace. Yeah, that was horrible. Seven, maybe? Six? No one should wear a muscle suit. I, I would like to remind you, again, the other person, his whole gimmick was he was an Oscar that came to life. Right. <laughs> right. So we're at this point now. We've talked about it all. Uh, we're down to the vote. Each one of us is going to vote uh, what we think the worst successful gimmick of all time is. And I'm going to start with Patrick. Okay. Pass a... Uh, slime. Slime. <laughs> All right, I'm going to go, okay, based on longevity, uh, I'm going Taker. Here's my reason. Longevity. <laughs> okay. longevity. Here's my reasons. Longevity. One, he had the streak, right? For the, not anymore, but he had that streak. Belts of all kinds. Different types of matches. Was able to take a shit gimmick and then reinvent it multiple times. Like, he just came out. He was a guy who works in Mortuary. Then he's a zombie-ish. <laughs> Then he's a, then then he's a he, Rob Zombie. Then he's, yeah, then he's, <laughs> he's a Rob Zombie. He's like, oh, like, yeah. He comes back and I'm like, I love Limp Biscuit. And then he comes back and he's a corporate ministry guy. Like, I tore these sleeves off myself. Now he's in. Yeah, now he's an <laughs> MMA fighter who's also does mortuary on the or mortuary stuff on the side. Yeah, it's great. And then and then it, you've been a part of some of the greatest matches. Arguably the greatest match of all time at WrestleMania 25 then, with Shawn Michaels. Then he became an owner of the, a yard. He owns the yard. <laughs> he, he's a property owner now. Property owner. 
get off my Invented dog. different type. I mean, it was part of different new matches like Hell in a Cell, Caskets. Like, he revolutionized wrestling, and he's been through the entire time. So, so for you, it's the successful. It's the, and it's also how he's been able to make the worst gimmick. I'm a guy who works at a funeral home <laughs> last for 27 years, and then still evolve it and make people, people still love it. People love him, and they go like, "I took your powers, Undertaker. <laughs> I'm Ray Wyatt. I'm the man of fear right now, eater of worlds. I control the thunder and the lightning." Like, like okay, that's a, that's a good example. If you, if someone came out today, I in stepped the in audience, an anthill, and they were like, <laughs> "If someone's like, hey, you're gonna work at a funeral home today, and it's gonna last thirty years and still be successful, you'd be like, no, you're you're full of shit." Well, you work Ray there. Wyatt is also. It's it's they it's booked him old. so poorly though. Yeah, they, no, they, that's they, not that's not Bray. I think Bray Wyatt was sway over when he got the belt. The crowd yeah, was, was great. going crazy. It was just but in the nineties or in, also we talked about in the early nineties all the professions. So this dude's an Undertaker. That one lasted twenty seven years. IRS is gone. Isaac Yankum had to become Kane's or uh, Taker's brother because <laughs> that was no good. Tugboat that it sank. Like there's <laughs> all. <laughs> Doink's no longer around because no one cares about clowns. Like, that's the only profession in Bad Gamut from the night. Honky Tonk Man is Jeff Jarrett. Now, Jeff Jarrett's gone. The closest we got is, like, Dolph Ziggler, kind of. Undertaker. <laughs> I don't have a bad pass of my brother, Bo Dallas. We do real <laughs> well together. <laughs> we treat each other kindly. Your parents are still alive. Million Dollar Man's gone. Uh, yeah, I'm going Taker. Oh, no, Joe Clown. <laughs> uh, I'm going to go up next, and yeah, great talk with the Undertaker, man. He's so successful. This guy's the living embodiment of an Oscar. Gold dust and wore a wig. He tried to get breast implants. He, he kicked, was also Marilyn Manson. He, he was did. also Marilyn yeah. Manson. He kicked the guy, he kicked the people in their junk as his finisher. Yeah, and then he jerked them off. He, he had Tourette's he, at one point. Yeah. He, is still around. Ah, 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 ah. He do that. Like he a created stuff. <laughs> He created Stardust. He's still wrestling. Yeah. And his longevity. He's better than he ever was, too, which is weird. <laughs> when he acts, and he is somebody who looks like Mark Calloway still looks like the Undertaker. When he looks like himself, it's like worse. Like, I want to see him in the Gold Dust gear because that makes me more comfortable, which is already a character that makes me feel very uncomfortable. Uh, yeah. I'm voting Gold Dust as Ooh. the worst successful gimmick. Gold Dust is gonna hold you down, suck your dick. Why you keep doing that? Because that's his move. That's what <laughs> it does. does. I, you read his fan fiction too much. No, no good. that was yeah. a storyline. He would go down the, the locker room and just start blowing dudes. That was season four. Check it out. <laughs> season four, the Gold Dust years. Uh, Sean Smith, do you have the knuckles are one. Oh my god. <laughs> Gold Bells, why are you doing this? <laughs> <laughs> I need to buy Undertaker. <laughs> Stop sucking my dick. <laughs> I like what you guys are calling it. <laughs> All right, you're up. You're up next, John. Oh, who is Abigail? <laughs> Abigail told me this is wrong. <laughs> oh, don't stop now. The eater of worlds. <laughs> the eater of worlds. Oh. The sucker of cocks. Uh, anyways, John Smith, you're up. I had a viewer. I said sucker of cocks. They left immediately. Yeah. Uh, Sorry, Smith, guys. You're voting worst successful gimmick between Undertaker and Goldust. Listen, brother. Goldust is going to run in, grab your dick, put it in his mouth, dude. You smell what my cock is cooking. <laughs> Uh, those are, those are, those are those. You're right, Oscar, tilting your balls, brother. <laughs> it was me. It was me the whole time, Bray Wyatt. Um, so, <laughs> I'm not There's really sure. Lots happened there. I think, so Undertaker was so bad and successful that they had to keep creating bad characters for him to fight. <laughs> so, like, yeah. he had, like, he gave birth to a bunch of. There is no mankind without the Undertaker. There is no Kane without the Undertaker. Like his his tree of uh, characters underneath his gimmick. His tree. The the reason that these other successful gimmicks exist is because his was so bad and powerful that they had to create other bad powerful 
characters to so fight him. As like CM Punk led like Daniel Bryan's and all that stuff. Yes, but yes. this was more <laughs> But this was like far out character. <laughs> yeah. There is no Damien Demento without Undertaker. There's no Booger Bastion. There's no Bastion, Bastion Booger. Booger. There is no. Uh, <laughs> there's no Boogeyman. There's no. <laughs> well, Papa Shango probably. Papa Shango and with him it. came in at the same time. Oh uh, yeah. Papa Shango changed. Undertaker stayed the same. No, no. I mean, <laughs> Papa Shango probably had more to do with Boogeyman than Undertaker. You remember the Undertaker jumped out of the ring that killed Shawn Michaels and then yeah. killed himself? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, so he's had he's had he has had such an impact on wrestling that goes beyond any type of logic. Now, obviously, Goldust being an Oscar, <laughs> a fighting a fighting Oscar that, that just happens so to know so movies cute. really well, but will also kiss you. In a it did, uh, that's, that's bad and it doesn't make sense, but they didn't have to create other characters to fight Goldust. Yeah, it was just anybody. It was just like... You could say Goldust is great because of Undertaker. Goldust was... He could have been. Yeah. Yeah. So, Sean, I'm assuming... Like I know your Undertaker. Undertaker is the winner of Worst Successful Gimmick. Uh, also, one of my, probably my favorite wrestler of all time. See? He's uh, wonderful. He's amazing. Uh... That's it, folks. That's the, that's the show. That's how the show works. Uh, you, you get down to the final one, and that's the winner. Uh, you've been, you, what you've been doing over 50 episodes? You know where the hell it goes. Uh, but the worst successful gimmick, Undertaker. Uh, that's been ranking very much, folks. I want to thank my special guest experts, uh, Sean Smith. Uh, do you have a, a Twitter? Do you have a podcast that you do that you want to plug? I do. Um, my Twitter is Sean, S E A N. Uh, Smith, S M O Y S, and Yellow P is a person, H is in hell. Sean Smith! And uh, I got the Bout Time podcast with Patrick. We do. Uh, every Friday we have a new episode. We are at episode 95. So yeah, plenty right, of time much. to catch up. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Find um, us on iTunes, uh, bouttime.lipson.com, and iHeartRadio. That's sweet, right. Sweet, sweet. Bout Time, B O U T T I M E. Patrick, uh, Passiflime. Passiflime. I'm on, uh, <laughs> I'm on, I'm on Twitter, Patnonymous, P-A-T-N-O-N-Y-M-O-U-S, and uh, Instagram at Patrick P. Comedy. So hit me up and uh, listen to the About Time Podcast. Listen. Both staples, I'd say, of the Louisville comedy scene. Without them, there'd be no Louisville. That's right. And, That's a fact. Uh, I mean, great, I'm you a staple. Get, they can see Sean's the gold dust of Louisville. I and he's the Undertaker. Uh, <laughs> I'm the Eugene. Yeah. Uh, no, 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 no! Uh, <laughs> uh, somebody just went on just to give it a like. That's nice of them. Thank you. Uh, I'm Joe Bates. I'm the host, uh, as always. Uh, you can find me at Joe America 22 on Twitter. Uh, but I, you know what I want you to do, though, instead? I would like you to go subscribe on YouTube and Ranky Very Much, or like the Ranky Very Much Facebook page. And uh, last but not least, I have a website now, JoeBatesComedy.com, where you can get links to the Thank You Very Much stuff, as well as uh, some other things. And if you want to book me, uh, no one's watching. Anyways, I, book him. <laughs> I'm Joe Bates. That's the host. That's Worst Successful Gimmick in Wrestling. Undertaker's a winner. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Rest. <laughs> Have a good night. <laughs> I stepped in the man hill. <laughs> All right, guys. Okay, hold on.